So I train horses down in Dorset and my main emphasis is on do they feel safe. Every species to survive and feel comfortable in life needs safety. The second thing is I want to motivate them and I do use food to motivate them because again that's a primary motivator in any species and I'd be interested as to any, if anyone is really anti-food and um, do pop, pop it in the comments. The other thing is I want to know my horse really understands what I'm wanting him to do because he might feel safe, he might be motivated but if he doesn't understand then you're not going to achieve your goal. So with the food we don't want it to be the be all and end all so as you can see with this horse he was eating from his bucket but he still came when I called him but the main horse we're going to use in this video is Varlo and he's coming up now he took seven hours they tried for seven hours to load him to come to me to be started but then he they couldn't even get him on so they had to dope him so we're talking really high end and I've actually left it a bit late because I've been breaking him in and I've only got a day or two days I think to sort of sort it out so I have got a good basis of a relationship here and I have taught him some simple things um, like following my hand to receive the food so his main thing is a squeeze he was happy to go over the board as you could see but it's going through a narrow space so I have asked him to go between this dustbin and the lorry when it's a bit wider and now we're getting a bit narrower and he's a little bit suspicious and he's not really wanting to go through I've also done a lot of work touching his sides because when he first came he wouldn't allow anyone to touch him um, you know, he was really quite a scared horse. So here we have the food to motivate him. And as you can see, he's in a field. There's another horse in the field. He can go away at any time if he wants. So we've really got his attention. He really is wanting to train. So you can see from here, he's stretching. That neck's really stretching, but the body isn't coming. So that means he wants the food, but he's not really keen to do, you know, to go through this narrow space yet. There he's sitting. Do you see how he's sitting back on his hocks, which he would do if you're pulling them in. So he's saying, I don't actually want to go in. I want the food. I want to engage, but I don't want to go in. And there's another typical when you're trying to get them on a trailer and their front feet are forwards and their back feet are right back there. He doesn't want to actually come through here. But through repetition and I've built up myself to be a very trustworthy person, he is He's wanting to come through, but he's conflicted. So there he's decided to come through. He's come through quite nice and gently, but he's taken the food and immediately gone to the next object. So he didn't want to hang around there. So that's an indicator that he's struggling. Very happily goes over the rug. And I'd just like to say I wouldn't ever use a rug because they could get their feet caught and it was stupid of me, but I did it anyway. And here he slips over the... Uh, board on the ground and that doesn't bother him so we now know that this is his main problem so we need to work on it and as you can see here in slow motion he's going to tip his head away his ears up his head's up he's looking at me but he doesn't actually want to come so that's another indication that he's in conflict he's not quite sure but he says actually I've had a good time with you I do enjoy it so he slightly scuttles through but he halts because he's well trained and then he slightly skits off again. And again here, did you see him um, suck his tail down? So these are all indicators that he's struggling with this exercise. So I need to keep building on this exercise. And like I said earlier, I don't have, you know, days and days to do this. So I think I've got two sessions. So I'm moving fairly quickly, but you can see there he's beginning to cope and now I'm making it really quite narrow because once in a trailer they really are in a tight tight squeeze and he's not quite sure but then he says actually I trust you you know we've been doing all this you've never forced me you've given me options so even though you know after that his head was quite high even though there is still some anxiety there the trust is really really building so I feel very confident that he's going to go straight into the lorry from the work I've done um it's, there's lots of space in there but I'm going to start by popping him on the lorry just to give him that experience and um, as you can see he pops on there really quite nicely comes off really quite nicely and if you see his face um, there's a nice soft kind look in his face so I'm I'm pleased with that that's a good 
bit of training. So here I leave with the lorry and the lorry's really rattly and it's going across the mud and you can see that horse is not an alarmed horse. So now I did speed this up because this takes time. So it's really important I don't then get to the trailer and start saying you've got to go on the trailer, I've done all this preparation. So I'm doing exactly the same as I did going through the squeeze. I've got a head collar on him um, this time because I just want a bit of control because it was very scared of the trailer so we don't want anything silly to happen but if you look I'm really taking my time he wants to come off I'm letting him come off and then he comes on nicely and we're walking off he slightly speeds up coming down but that is a good first time and it's giving him some confidence so there he sort of looks outside the trailer but he you know he's really building up me as a trustworthy person which is what we've got to do with our horses if we want to build a really good bond we've got to be trustworthy they've got to think that we're all right it's not about us sort of bossing them around it's about building that connection so as you can see here I'm going to take his head collar off I feel now that he's you know, not going to do anything silly in there, which is why I had the head collar just to help him if he was silly in there. And we're going to see if he can hop on with me. And yeah, he's really happy to hop on with me in there. So at the moment, we've established that he's happy to go in the trailer with me. But with horses with real phobias, there are, you know, it's not just instant quick fish fix, bash them in. You've got to build on all this.